Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about very interesting topic on how to assign multiple IPs on virtual firewall running in Azure environment. Now let's take an example where I have firewall at the edge and uh, I have multiple web servers in my backend subnet. Uh, if this environment is your on-premise data center where you have your firewall, you can simply enable NAT statement. The moment you enable NAT statement, uh, your firewall is going to do a proxy R for that additional IP address. Now, in public cloud, this option is not available. The moment you create your firewall, each interface of firewall will have its own dedicated private IP address, which is again mapped on Azure NAT gateway. Now, if requirement is to have individual IP address for each application server or web server, what you need to do is you need to assign multiple private IP addresses on that particular NIC. This step is an additional step when you are deploying firewall in public cloud because uh, Azure infrastructure should understand that there is an additional IP address pointing to that interface. And once you have assigned that IP address on Azure portal, uh, you can come back to firewall and create NAT statement for that IP address. Unless you have created that additional IP address, firewall will never receive that traffic. Now, how exactly you assign that IP address is when you go inside your VM on Azure portal, you have to go inside IP config of the interface where you need to assign that additional IP address. Once you are in that interface, you can click add and then you can assign additional IP addresses, additional private IP addresses. Now, if you look at this particular example, I have 2.4, 2.5, 2.6 these IP addresses are private addresses on that interface so as your native infrastructure understands that these IP address is these IP addresses are there now you can enable public IP addresses for these addresses as well so now you have your private IP address on Ethernet 2 interface or NIC 2 which is my external interface I can now enable NATing on my firewall. And remember, you should also allow traffic using access control policy or access control list. So this is how you add multiple addresses on your device. Other kind of deployment is when you have your load balancer. So now look at this particular example. I have external load balancer facing my next generation firewalls. And in the back end, I have two web servers. What I can do is I can have one IP, IP1, which will map to web server one on my firewall one, IP address two, and this IP address two will map to web server two. Similarly, on the front-end load balancer, I need to define front-end IPs, and each front-end IP address is going to probe internal IP. So now, front-end IP1 is going to uh, IP1, and if you look at this IP1, this IP1 is mapped to uh, web server 1. Front-end IP2 is, is facing towards IP address 2, which again points to web server 2 now let's look about look at the probes uh, configuration now i have probe 1 probe 1 will probe ip1 which is um, going towards web server 1 probe 2 is going to probe ip address 2 which is which will probe web server 2 now let's take this example so any traffic from internet hitting front end ip1 will probe um, web server one so this probe is a reliable probe instead of probing interfaces of firewall i'm probing my application server so i have defined two probes first probe is for web server one and probe two is for probing my web server two so this is how you will enable your uh, load balancing and probing and then you can also add multiple addresses. So now, for example, if you have four web servers or four different application servers resolving to different IP addresses, you can 
add that IP address on your firewall by going back to Azure portal. Once you have that IP address there, you can come back to firewall, enable natting for it, and remember to allow that traffic and access control policy as well. So this is uh, how you will go ahead and uh, create your network and add multiple addresses on external interfaces of the device. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.